Hello everyone again. My name is Pavel Bravov and I'm a second year master student from the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. And today I'm going to talk about these materials have lots of peculiar properties. They have an ability to efficiently convert uh, high frequency ionizing radiation into heat. Have a relatively high electrical conductivity, uh, which allows them to be considered as uh, organic semiconductors. Uh, all that together with their biodiversity makes them prospective for creation all different biomedical devices and sensors. Uh, the most intriguing property for these devices is known as uh, depend, uh, hydration dependent uh, conductivity. Uh, in this work, uh, we have studied two types uh, of L melanins, pure and collated by ions of copper. Uh, the choice caused by the fact that L melanin is the most uh, common form of synthetic melanins. And we have lots of other investigations uh, of pure L melanin properties, such as terophores and infrared spectroscopy, uh, EPR, and others. And uh, also <clears throat> to understand how could we modulate melanin's conductivity, uh, we studied a uh, sample uh, curated by ions of copper. Um, pure, pure L melanin have been studied by uh, other scientific groups. Uh, but and as, as this slide, uh, there are some published results of electrochemical and pilots because of melanin thin films uh, at the right side and press pilots uh, on the left side. And also, equivalent schemes and two spawn speeds are here. Uh, but it's easy to notice that all of the speeds are look similar to the experimental data, and uh, especially problems uh, emerge, uh, emerge at low frequency region. Uh, 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 pronounced diffuse behavior prevails. Uh, all the articles use different schemes, and uh, no one still succeeded to describe the radio frequency and melanin's electrical properties. Uh, that brings me to the motivation for this work. Uh, and in the remaining time, I'm going to tell you uh, how we afford to change focus from equivalent scheme fitting for analyzing uh, melanin's low frequency relaxations. Uh, also, Physical interpretation of these relaxations and show how correlation of, uh, of uh, copper ions uh, affect melanin's properties. <clears throat> At this slide, uh, there are nitro spots for both samples. For um, pure pure on the right side and copper on the left side. The uh, it is seen that the evolution of impedance with humidity uh, was, uh, is basically the same in both samples. However, uh, the impedance uh, in the spectrum uh, for related melanin uh, at 20% of relative humidity was similar to 0% of relative humidity uh, for pure melanin. Similarly, 33% uh, um, spectrum <clears throat> for uh, collated melanin looks similar to the 12% uh, for pure melanin, and so on. Uh, such a lab uh, is due to copper as a strong complexing agent uh, can effectively bind coordination sphere both water molecules and electrophilic groups. Uh, on the melanin units, uh, its semiconon uh, anions formed in course of preparational uh, reaction and uh, decreasing in such way uh, conductivity. Now uh, I'll tell you how the speeds uh, were obtained. Uh, we used uh, describing the literature distribution of relaxation times approach. Uh, this approach uh, can extract. Uh, characteristics of an electrochemical system from impedance measurements. Uh, it's an extremely powerful instrument. Uh, its main feature is that it's model-free and doesn't require any initial guesses. 
uh, about the started simple uh, started system. Also, it gives the distribution of relaxation times that have much more physical meaning in comparison with uh, abstract parameters of equivalence circuits, uh, especially circuits with some distributed elements like uh, constant phase elements or variable elements, for example. Uh, in order to do uh, UFT convolutions, experimental data is fitted uh, against a model impedance given uh, by this form where G uh, is a suitable function that describes the time relaxation characteristic of studied system. Uh, the expression can be understood uh, as an equivalent void model. Um, which consists of uh, an ohmic re resistor and a series of connected in parallel resistor and capacitor. Uh, and uh, one element of such, you know, such chain gives uh, one relaxation time. Uh, optimal result gets by the minimization of functional, uh, of error functional, uh, and uh, however, this problem is ill posed and requires regularization. Uh, you can see some raw results of UFT deconvolution for both samples, and uh, we're interested in dynamics of now <coughs> times and equity. Uh, it should be noted that uh, at the right side of, of both graphs, uh, there is a comb of decaying peaks for both samples, and Times of these relaxations correspond to frequencies at which we saw infused tail and light as well. It's approach efforts to recognize diffusion, for example, the advanced variable element, which gives good fit results that the equivalence of the method for melanin is infinitive series for all between things, which we specified relation to fixed positions. And amplitudes. So this method confirms our guesses about low frequency diffusion in melanin. Uh, as this method is imposed, as it was mentioned, it requires cross validation. And here we represent uh, some square error as a metric. Uh, it's necessary to select optimal regularization parameter value at which the convolution will be physically needed for. Uh, so at high values of uh, regularization parameter, the convolution is smooth and both so relaxation can't be extinguished. But uh, to low values of uh, regularization parameter for oscillations of the resultant spectrum, uh, and uh, that uh, adds uh, error to the implementation. Uh, now I'm going to show the final results of our of, uh, uh, the diocritic evolution with, uh, for both samples, and here you can see peak position the dependence on the relative humidity. So, sample with uh, collated with proper relative predominant faster, uh, a little decelerating with uh, relative humidity increase from uh, 60% and uh, uh, In the meantime, a pure sample shows the behavior. The same behavior uh, up to 70 percent uh, and for times lower than two milliseconds tends to higher relaxation times range. Uh, both, uh, both samples have uh, close relaxation times at all relative humidity values uh, except the lowest. Uh, so at uh, zero relative humidity for pure sample and uh, 12 uh, percent of the community for example, uh, we have uh, 10 and uh, 8 uh, relaxers uh, respectively. Uh, the absence of relaxers uh, might be attributed directly to water molecules. Uh, that give us information about the initiation of water saturation elements. Uh, that gives us that brings us to the end of my presentation. Uh, let me go over the key points again. We have discussed a different approach to how to compare and analyze the different components of spectroscopy data. Uh, we have found that uh, we discover ions melanin uh, highly decreased in comparison with the pure one. And uh, we realize that copper ions for only molecules uh, in. Uh, 
in uh, Melon's metrics and the hinder the midprime process. I thank you for the attention. Now, I'm ready to answer questions if there are any of them.